Hey everybody, welcome back to Bones' vlogs. I'm not Bones, I'm Skelty. And today we're gonna go visit Bones in the hospital, and we are going to go hopefully do some cool stuff there. So he texted me, he said that he, he just, he had to do some, they had to go through surgery, and like they had to do some surgery on his arm and stuff, because if you guys don't remember, Bones broke his arm in the previous vlog. And this is the day right after that, so he stayed the night at the hospital. It's going to be uploaded a week after, but for us, it's been a day. So, yeah, we're going to go head over there, and I'm going to also pick up Tarsus and Edward. And we're going to go head over there, and yeah, hopefully he's feeling okay after going through all that surgery and all that, but we're going to go ahead and jump to the hospital, and Bones said that... He's feeling good, but, I mean, we will try not to do anything too crazy, but, yeah, I just gotta eat some breakfast, and then we're gonna go swing by Tarsus and Edwards. I was just on my way to, out to the car, and then I realized out in this lot over here, check it out, that's the monster truck called Taz, and that's the one called Blue Thunder, and you can see even more monster trucks over there, because they're preparing for a show right here, and there's gonna be a lot of people here, so, yeah, pretty cool. So, I just found out that Bones broke his arm, and I'm really, really, really sad. So now we're going to go check on him in the hospital. Alright, we're all in the car. Tarsus is in the passenger seat, Edward is in the trunk, and I'm going to go ahead and drive. So, is it okay if we visit Bones' skeleton? Well, visiting hours aren't for about another 10 minutes, but yeah, you can wait in the waiting room over there, and then I'll just call you in when you're ready. All right, thanks. So, yeah, we're going to enter in about 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna see Bones. All right, visiting hour started, so we're gonna go in and see Bones. There's Bones! Hey. Hey, Bones, how you doing? Mm, I'm doing pretty good. I was just really tired because I had to stay awake during the whole procedure. Wow, what the heck is that? It's my cast. It's actually this new type of Lego guy um, cast. It's like this carbon fiber cast. That's why it looks kind of pale. Hmm. All right, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's a really cool cast, Bones. How you doing? Thanks. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just really tired right now. Your arm feeling a little better? Yeah, it still kind of hurts, though. And also, they said I'm not allowed to get up because... Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. When I fell, not only did I hit my arm, but I also landed pretty hard, so they say I might have a concussion. That sucks, dude. Yeah. I also sprained my ankle, so I'm pretty injured, but... Yikes. But the main problem is my arm. Mm-hmm. But other wow. than that, I'm doing pretty good. Hmm. So, visiting hours are from, like, now to, like, 7.30 p.m., so we got a lot of time to hang out with Bones. The doctors actually said that he can leave tomorrow, so he's gonna be out of the hospital tomorrow, but he still needs to stay another night so they can, um, observe his condition, and yeah, since Bones can't really walk around or move because he's got a concussion, a broken arm, and a sprained ankle, we will just have to bring the activities to him. So, what I was thinking is... There's a lot of blankets and stuff in this hospital. So, why not build a fort? Now, of course, we could build a fort out of supplies, but we are going to ask the doctors before we build anything, because if we use something that they might need, or we take something that's, like, contaminated with, like, someone's, with, like, a disease or something, or we accidentally break something. We don't want that to happen, because that could be really bad, so we're going to ask them which supplies to use. And then we're going to get started building the fort. So, I know that the skeletons, in case you guys don't know, the skeletons are expert fort builders, so we should get a pretty good one going. We just need to get the right supplies. Aha! Okay, so we have some hospital blankets right here that aren't being used. They're really soft and nice, so... 
the doctor said they could get and we could use this. Tarsus and Edward are off collecting like boxes and other things for a wall around it, the fort, but we are going to go ahead and grab these blankets and this is gonna be the roof. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the whole stack. There's like three blankets in here. We might not need all of them, but better safe than sorry. Okay, we're back in the room now, and we've got some supplies, so we're gonna go ahead and get started building this fort. And I guess the building process is usually pretty boring, and it's also really hard, so we're just gonna cut the video, cut the cameras, and we will catch up with you guys later when we are done with the fort, or at least in a good place. Okay, guys, we are pretty much done with the fort, so why don't we go ahead and give you guys a quick rundown of the fort, and then we shall, I guess, it's gonna be a tour, and then I'm gonna show you all the specific features individually. This is the grand entrance right here. It's a large entrance. Now we may put something in front of it to make it su super secret and cozy, or we might just leave it open. Now, here is a cool feature. We have this really cool thing with some cool designs right here. I've said cool so many times now, but this is really neat. Look at these, this artwork here. Oh, I almost broke it. On this side, we used a book that we found in the um, hospital, like sort of gift shop i guess it's sort of like there's you know how when you're a little kid and you used to go to the doctor's office and there'd be like the prize chest or something it's sort of like that but bigger so we found this book and we used it as one of the walls on top we used these blankets which are actually only holding up from the strength of some human sized coins and when i really reach up here you can see there's lots of human sized coins we um got some change from people and yeah He's like, hey, you have change for a dollar? And this isn't exactly a dollar, but it's probably close. And yeah, it's pretty cool. We had to get a ladder to climb up to the back wall up there. And then you can also see how this is a second blanket. So when you go inside, it blocks off this entire part. So this is a really cool sitting area. And not only that, you can't see in or out. So pretty cool. And finally, you may think this is just an ordinary Pokemon card, but no, in fact, if you go ahead and move it out of the way, it opens up a secret area. Look at all that room in the secret area. Yeah, so that's really nice. Edward fits in there perfectly. So does Tarsus. I can even fit in here. And then when you're done in the secret area, just cover it back up and no one will ever know. And of course, Bones is in his hospital bed. We built this fort all around him. Yeah, guys, I definitely think this is one of the better forts that, or I guess I almost said we, but it was all you three. I guess this is probably one of the better forts that skeletons have built so far. I'm in this fort right now, but it's missing one thing, snacks. We've got some snacks, a waffle and an apple. Edward just ran and got some snacks. There's a waffle in there that Bones is going to eat. I've got this apple and... Oh, hey, look, the doctor's coming. Hey, guys, nice fort. Wait a second. What is that? Oh, this? This is an apple. Uh, an... an... apple? <laughs> hmm. I guess an apple a day really does keep the doctor away. Tarsus, how do you like the fort? It's awesome. I like the um, Pokemon card on the side. It's really cool. And the fort is really kind of cramped, 
But I feel like since we're small, we can fit in it. Yeah, well, I was just about to go um behind the Pokemon card. Oh, the secret passage, right. Yeah, 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 I was just about to check that out. Okay, guys, let's check out the secret passage. Wait a minute, Tarsus! What? How'd you get in there? Uh, I teleported. I have no idea how you got in there so fast. Well, Tarsus has been... Hey, so... Okay, we're going to play a quick game of hide and seek. Now you might be saying, well, that's pretty rude to Bones because he can't get up and move. Well... Here's the thing. Bones doesn't care. Alright, let's go. Um, I am going to count first. Tarsus and Edward are going to hide. Okay, guys. Ready or not, here I come. Alright, let's go look for them. Hmm, wonder where they could be. Oh, maybe over here. Nope, not up in these rafters. Hmm, huh. Maybe they went into another room. Hmm. Not even anyone behind the big apple. in here. I don't know why I did this. Well, do you know where Tarsus could be? Nope. I think he's somewhere over there. To All the right, right. Get, get out of there. That's disgusting. Bones, do you have any idea where Tarsus could be? Um, no. I have no idea. So, I think I heard him. Like, I didn't, I couldn't really see him. I was trying to catch up on some sleep. But I think I saw him go to the right. So Tarsus, I mean, Edward, you were right. He did go with the right, so let's go check over there. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes. I've checked everywhere in this entire hospital. Except one spot. Wait, where did- Ow! Oh, shoot. Why'd you do that? Sorry. Dude, seriously? Well. So it's me, Bones' doctor, and I'm inside the fort, and yeah, Skelty just wanted me to tell you guys a little bit about Bones' treatment. So Bones has a broken arm, so his bone completely snapped in half. Since he doesn't have a layer of muscle or skin or any tissue, it just snapped in half. So we've got this speed healing cast on it. Now normally it could take anywhere from 6 to 8 weeks for a broken arm to heal in a human. But the Talking World technology allows for these super nanite little microorganisms to go in, fix it right up, and then they just die out. It's not even like they're, they just get flushed out. They're just little tiny robots. They just go in there and fix the bone. They just create new bone out of the existing bone tissue and the only thing that patients need to do besides just keep like not mess with their arm is they just need to drink a lot of milk and get a lot of calcium next he has a sprained ankle now we b did put some healing nanites into his um ankle but other than that, there's not much that we can really do about that. He just needs to keep weight off it, maybe put some ice on it. And then finally, we've got his concussion. Now, we can't do a lot about the concussion either, but that just heals on its own. So he just needs to be monitored for around two days. And then once we're pretty sure that he's fine, then we'll just clear him and he won't have a concussion anymore. 
Well, guys, it's getting pretty late. We played hide-and-seek. We hung out in the fort a lot. Um, I never really showed you guys the inside, truly. Look, this ceiling is really high, and it's just really cool. It's a really cool area. But, yep, of course, after every fort, you always have to put it away. You can't just leave messes everywhere, so we're going to have to take down the fort. And Tarsus had something he really wanted to do, and we'll get to that in a little bit. But, yeah, I think that I am actually going to spend the night here with Bones. So... Bones will be closing off the vlog once we take the fort down, and then, um, yeah, that'll be it for today. And if you hear any strange noises, it's just Edward with his gas again. One last good look at the fort. Yeah! Hmm. Felt wow. like that needed to happen. Wait, is Bones okay down there? Bones, are you okay down there? Yes. Okay. So, Skelty did say he wanted to spend the night here with me, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm still well enough to vlog a little bit, so good night, guys. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and hopefully by tomorrow I will be a allowed to go home because pretty much everything will be healed. Now, the doctor did a really good job of explaining the whole process. The sprained ankle, I just have to keep weight off it and ice it if it hurts at all. The concussion, I just need to be monitored for about two to three days, and then they'll call in after a little bit. And if any, if nothing has happened, then I don't fit, and then they'll just say that, oh, it's okay. And then for this, I just got to wait about a week, and then the healing will be gone. The cast is just to transmit the nanites. I don't really understand it. It's very high tech, but I'll be able to take it off after a couple days, and then it'll be about a week. So by that time, everything will be healed, so I'll hopefully be, be able to get back to vlogging soon. But anyway, good night, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.